Bhakti Bhakti Vedanta Swaminiti Namane Namaste Sarasati Devi Gauravani Pracharine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschacha Deshatarine Vancha Kaupata Rupyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patita Nam Vibhyo Vaishnavibhyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasade Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So we're reading chapter number 47 of the Krishna book and we're hearing how Uddhava brought a message from Krishna to the gopis. So after hearing Krishna's message from the gopis, then the gopis said anyway, the gopis said, that, will Krishna come back? Is he going to come back to us? But then some, another gopi said, well, we don't think Krishna is going to come back because he's with all these women in Mathura. And he, he's busy there with all the ladies in Mathura. And so different gopis all had different things to say. And read, I'll read from the book. Now, another gopi said, it is an unreasonable hope for us to expect Krishna to come back to Vrindavan. We should just try to be happy in disappointment. Even Pingala, the great prostitute, had that disappointment, or said that disappointment is the greatest pleasure. So Pingala is told about, she was a, a, a prostitute, and it's described how she would stand at the door and she would look at people coming along the road and she think she would think maybe this man will be my customer. And then the man would walk past and then she would look for another man. And she thought, maybe this man is interested in me. He looks like he might like to be with a nice woman like me. And she thought, maybe this man will be my customer. But then that man also walked past. So it came to evening and she still didn't have any customers. So she understood she should be just be happy in her disappointment. So the gopi said, 
we all know these things, but it's very difficult for us to give up the thought of Krishna coming back. Who can forget a solitary who can forget talking with Krishna solitary? We were alone with Krishna and talk with him. We cannot forget these things. Even though the goddess of fortune always remains on his chest, still he would talk with us gopis. So in spite of Krishna's, oh, the goddess of fortune, she remains on Krishna's chest, but Krishna doesn't even desire her. Krishna doesn't take much interest in her. Archana, you there? Archana? Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Yes, Krishna. Yeah, we are able to hear you, but not touch Namataji. Yeah, I don't know what happened to her. She's got some internet problem. Maybe her computer down or something. Hare Krishna. Oh, okay, you're back. What happened? Oh, I don't know. I will, I'm just talking, talking. <laughs> okay, Mataji said, and then I noticed that. Yeah, it was all quiet. We could... Now now it's okay? Yeah, now we can hear okay. you. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in spite of Krishna not, uh, not wanting the Goddess of Fortune, she sits on his chest. Krishna <laughs> So Gopi, Gopi spoke to Uddhava, she said, Uddhava, Vrindavan is the land of rivers and forests and cows. And it was here we could hear the vibration of Krishna's flute. And Krishna would come with his older brother Balaram and they would enjoy the atmosphere in our company. So the environment of Vrindavan would constantly reminds the gopis about Krishna and Balaram. All over Vrindavan, we can see the marks of Krishna's footprints. So how can we ever forget Krishna when we see his footprints everywhere? So the gopis also told Uddhava that Vrindavan was full of all opulence and good fortune. Mm -hmm. 
ความเป็นสิริมงคล There was nothing. There was no scarcity or want in Vrindavan. Everything material was available. And although they had everything, all opulences, but still the gopis could not forget Krishna and Balaram. So the gopis told Uddhava, "We constantly remember all the attractive features of Krishna." We cannot forget how Krishna walks, how he smiles, and his joking words. We have lost ourselves in just thinking about Krishna. It's impossible for us to forget him. And we always pray. The Gopi said, "We always pray to him. We pray." Dear Lord, dear husband of the goddess of fortune, dear Lord of Vrindavan, and deliverer of the distressed devotees. The Gopi Gopi ก็ปรารถนาแล้วบอกว่าโอ้ผู้ที่เป็นพระผู้เป็นเจ้าของบรินดาวันและผู้ที่สามารถทำให้ทุกคนเนี่ยเป็นอิสระจากความวิตกกังวลได้ The Gopi said, "We're now fallen, and we're in an ocean of distress." Please come back to Vrindavan and deliver us from this pity, pitiable condition. So Uddhava was studying the gopis in the in the pain they were feeling in separation from Krishna. So Uddhava thought it wise to repeat all the pastimes of the gopis, which they had enjoyed with Krishna. Materialistic people, they're always thinking about their material activity, material their miseries in the material world. They're always burning in the fire of material life. So the gopis, they were also burning, but in a transcendental fire, due to separation from Krishna. So the fire which the gopis were in is different from the fire of the material world. So the gopis constantly wanted the association of Krishna. But materialistic people, they constantly want the advantage of material comforts. There's a big difference. What the gopis want and what the materialists want. And so it's described by Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur that Krishna saved the cowherd boys from the blazing forest fire. 
within a moment, within a second. We heard that past time. Krishna was with the cowherd boys in the forest and there was a big fire coming and all the cowherd boys and the cows were in danger. And Krishna told all the every all the cowherd boys, just close your eyes. And they all closed their eyes and Krishna just swallowed the whole fire. And when they opened their eyes, they saw there was no fire anymore. So Uddhava told the gopis that they could also be saved from the fire of separation. They should close their eyes. And when their eyes are closed, they should meditate on the activities of Krishna. And they should think about their association with Krishna from the very beginning when they first knew Krishna. So the gopis could visualize all the pastimes of Krishna by hearing the descriptions of Uddhava. And then from within their heart, they could remember all the pastimes with Krishna. So with the help of Uddhava and his instructions, the gopis could understand that Krishna was not separate from them. The gopis were always thinking of Krishna and Krishna was always thinking of the gopis. Even though Krishna was in Mathura, Krishna was thinking of the gopis in Vrindavan. So Uddhava's message and instructions saved the gopis from death. And the gopis were very grateful for the teachings of Uddhava. Uddhava actually acted like their spiritual teacher for the gopis. And in return, the gopis worshipped Uddhava, just like they worshipped Krishna. The scriptures say spiritual master should be worshipped on the level of the personality of Godhead. Because the spiritual master is a very confidential servant of Krishna. Krishna. 
So the spiritual master is the external representation of Krishna. So the gopis got relief from their pain of separation from Krishna by realizing that Krishna was with them. Internally, the gopis remembered his association with them. And externally, Urava helped them to associate with Krishna by his instructions. So there's another name for Krishna it's described in the scriptures that Krishna is also called Adhoksaja. It means he's beyond all the material senses. So although Krishna is beyond the material senses, he's still in everybody's heart. So it's when ev within everyone's heart is a super soul. And at the same time, he's also everywhere by the all perceived by his energy as Brahman, spiritual energy. So one we can we can understand all the three features of the absolute truth Bhag, Brahman, Paramatma and Bhagavan. We can understand all these the three features of the absolute truth just by studying the condition of the gopis. And this is described in the Srimad Bhagavatam with the gopis meeting Uddhava. There's also a song called the Goswami Astikam, which is about the activities of the Goswamis of Vrindavan. So it was written by a devotee called Srinivas Acharya. So he describes that the Goswamis, like the six Goswamis, they were always uh, thinking of the activities of the gopis. And Lord Chaitanya also recommended the gopis method of worshipping Krishna. And the gopis method of worshipping Krishna is the best. And Sukadeva Goswami, he also recommends that we should hear about the dealings of the gopis. And we should hear about 
the dealings of the gopis with Krishna and we should follow the instructions of the previous acharyas. So if we follow this way, then we will become, uh, we will get elevated to the transcendental platform. And we'll get free of the lust to desire material and sense gratification. So all of the gopis, they got comfort by the instructions of Uddhava. So they asked Uddhava, please just stay a few more days. So Uddhava agreed to their, their request and he stayed with them. And so in the beginning he was just going to stay a few days but he ended up staying a few months. And he was always engaged in thinking of the transcendental message of Krishna and his pastimes. And by the association of Uddhava, the gopis felt as if they were actually having association with Krishna. All the people in Vrindavan, they all enjoyed the association of Uddhava. They discussed the activities of Krishna and the days passed just like moments. Nobody noticed how the time was passing. One days were just like a moment. Because Vrindavan is a village, so the atmosphere is very pure, very natural. And there's a river Yamuna also, nice clear water flowing. And there were many different fruit trees, orchards full of fruit trees with so many different fruits. And there was Govardhan Hill with caves also on the hill with waterfalls. And so many beautiful flowers were growing everywhere. So the whole atmosphere of Vrindavan, it influenced Uddhava and he began to talk about Krishna's pastimes and he wrote some songs about Krishna's pastimes. So this was great pleasure for all the people of Vrindavan to hear Uddhava's songs. <coughs> Just like when Krishna was there, Krishna would be singing songs also 
people of Vrindavan, they would love to hear Krishna sing all the songs. So Uddhava was attracted by the gopis because the gopis were so attached to Krishna. Oh, the, the gopis were always worried, they were always in anxiety about Krishna. That when is he coming? When is he coming back? So Uddhava offered his obeisances to the gopis and sang his beautiful songs about their qualities. So Uddhava was singing about, he describes that of all, all the living entities who have got the human form of life, the gopis are the best. They're always absorbed in the lotus feet of Krishna. Uddhava said, we try to fix our mind on the lotus feet of Krishna, but the gopis, they do it naturally. The gopis are just accustomed to think of Krishna all the time. The gopis don't have to do any yoga practice to fix their mind on Krishna. So if, if you can get, if you can become like the gopis, then you don't have to take birth again, as you don't have to be born in a Brahmana family, and you don't have to take birth as Lord Brahma. Yeah, we're thinking, you know, I have to get a better birth, I have to take birth in the Brahmana family, and I sh then I should, next birth I should take birth as a demigod, I should become Lord Brahma. But the gopis, they don't have to do that. They've, they are already thinking of Krishna, naturally. So Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita that if anybody takes shelter of him for the right purpose, it doesn't matter if the per what caste, what position the person is, it doesn't matter about his birth. Krishna says, Mamhi parta vaya pasritya, ye pishu papa yonaya, striyo vaisya stata sudras, te piyanti paramgatim. Even though one may be of lower birth, like a woman or a sudra, 
but they can quickly achieve the desired success if they take shelter of me. Krishna says, Krishna says, Papa Yonaya, even we're sinful, we have a sinful birth, we're born in a low condition socially, but still if we take shelter of Krishna, our life can be successful. Mm. We can get the highest goal of life just by fixing the mind on Krishna. So the gopis have set the standard of devotion for the whole world. If we follow in the footsteps of the gopis, constantly think of Krishna, then you can get the perfection of life. So the gopis were not born in a high-class family, but they were simply born in a family of cowherd people. But they had the highest love of Krishna, who is the super Krishna is the super soul, the supreme Brahman, the personality of Godhead, and the gopis loved him. So for self-realization or God-realization, we don't have to take birth in a good family. We only need to develop ecstatic love for Krishna. No qualification is required other than to constantly engage in the service of Krishna. The effect, just like when we are take when we are thinking of Krishna, then this is Krishna consciousness. So the effect of Krishna consciousness is just like drinking nectar. Archana. Archana. Yes, Guru Are you there? Yes, yes, Guru Okay. I couldn't hear you. You went away. Oh. Okay. Now it's okay? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm saying, Krishna, that we have to understand the effect of Krishna consciousness. So Prabhupada said it's just like drinking nectar. Even you don't know what it is, but when you drink it, it will take effect. We'll feel, oh, this is nectar, so nice, so nice. 
พราะว่ามันเป็นน้ำอามาดิเวลาเราดื่มแล้วเราจะรู้สึกโอ้มันดีมากเลยนะมันดีมาก So Krishna consciousness will also manifest itself just like that. And Krishna ที่สำนึกเนี่ยก็จะปรากฏเช่นนั้นเหมือนกัน It doesn't matter how or where you've taken birth. มันไม่ไม่มีความสำคัญว่าเราเกิดที่ไหนเกิดที่วันนาไหน Krishna will give his blessings upon anyone who takes to Krishna consciousness without a doubt. Krishna จะให้พรกับบุคคลที่ปฏิบัติการรู้จนเสียสละใช้อย่างจริงจังพระองค์จะทรงให้พร So the 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 position of the gopis was never reached by any other people. Even the goddess of fortune, she could never come up to the position of the gopis. And even the denizens of heaven, the demigods, they couldn't also ever come to the position of the gopis. Even these women in the higher planets, the ladies in the demigod on the planets of the demigods, their bodies had a beautiful smell. It has the fragrance of smells just like the lotus flower, but still they can never equal the gopis. จากโลกสวรรค์ก็แล้วแต่เขามีความสง่างามมากเกลนตัวมีความหอมมากก็แล้วแต่เขาก็ยังไม่สามารถเทียบพวกบูปีได้อย่างนี้ So to show the good, just to show how much Krishna liked the gopis, they said that when Krishna had called them all to dance Rasa Lila, Krishna was personally embracing them with his arms. ตอนที่ Krishna เนี่ยเชิญพวกบูปีมาเต้นรัสลีลาพิชานกอดพวกเขาด้วยมือของพระองค์เองด้วยแขนของพระองค์ And Krishna kissed them face to face. แล้วพิชานก็หอมพวกเขาต่อหน้า So it's not possible for women anywhere in three worlds in heaven or Bhuvaloka or Bhuloka on this planet. No women anywhere can achieve this except for the gopis. เขาจะไม่มีผู้หญิงคนไหนในทั้งสามโลกหรือเจ็ดโลกที่จะเป็นเหมือนพวกบูปีหรือว่าได้โอกาสพิเศษเหมือนพวกบูปีได้ So Uddhava prays. He said, "I want to take birth as one of the plants or creepers in Vrindavan." อุดาวันจะปรารถนาบอกว่าข้าเนี่ยอยากจะมีโอกาสที่จะได้เกิดเป็นต้นไม้ Because the gopis walk over them, so they get the dust from the feet of the gopis. So I want to take my birth like that, so I can also get the dust from the feet of the gopis. The gopis have given. They they love Krishna so much. They give Krishna so much love, and they're always searching after him. Wow, Krishna, ne, song lang po gopi ma. Po gopi ne lang Krishna ma. Lang po na ko kuh ha Krishna yutalong. Even great sages and saintly persons, they never get the mercy the gopis got. ถึงแม้ว่าพวกนักปราบผู้ยิ่งใหญ่อะไรเงี้ยพวกเขายังไม่ได้รับโอกาสเหมือนกับพิงบูปีได้รับ Just for the sake of Krishna they left everything they left their children their family their friends their home แล้วก็เพื่อความสุขของคริสนาเขาเนี่ยเลิกทุกอย่างแต่ไม่ว่าจะเป็นทั้งสามีเป็นลูกหรือว่าเป็นบ้านเนี่ยเขาก็ปล่อยไปได้หมด So Uddhava was appreciating the position of the gopis. He wanted to fall down and take the dust from their feet on his head. Uddhava, 
ได้ฝุ่นปลายเท้าของบ้านของพวกบูปินไปอยู่บนหัวของเขา Udvan, he didn't like to ask the gopis because he knew the gopis would never agree. So Udvan thought if he wants to get the dust from their feet, he has to take birth as some plant, and then when they walk on him, he will get the dust. อันนั้นเป็นวิธีทางเดียวก็คือขอเกิดเป็นต้นไม้แล้วก็เวลาพวกนางเดินผ่านเนี่ยก็คงจะได้รับฝุ่นจากเท้าของพวกนาง So the gopis were so much attracted to Krishna that whenever they would hear Krishna's flute they immediately left their home they left their children they left everything and went to Krishna แล้วพวกกูปีเนี่ยมีความยึดติดกับคริสต์นามาเวลาโดยที่ไม่สนใจอะไรของตัวเองเลยไม่ว่าจะเป็นคนในครอบครัวเป็นสามีเป็นลูกหรือเป็นใครก็แล้วแต่เขาสามารถสละได้ทุกเมื่อ They ran to the place where Krishna was standing เขาก็วิ่งไปที่ที่คริสต์นาเนี่ยทรงยืนอยู่ And they didn't care where they were going. They didn't care where they were running. They were, they were running along the road or through the jungle. They didn't worry about it. So because they were doing like this, the dust of their feet was left. On the grass and all the herbs of Vrindavan. But Uddhava, he didn't dare to take the dust from the feet of the gopis on his head in this life. But instead, Uddhava prayed that in his next birth, he would take birth in Vrindavan, and he would take birth as some grass or some herb, and that way he would get the dust from the feet of the gopis. So Uddhava appreciated the good fortune of the gopis. They would take the lotus feet of Krishna and place them on their chest. And the chest of Krishna, or the lotus feet of Krishna, is worshipped by the goddess of fortune, and by the demigods, and even Brahma and Shiva. And the yogis meditate upon Krishna in their heart. So Uddhava prayed. He wanted to be to constantly honor the dust from the feet of the gopis. And Uddhava also prays that he can constantly chant about Lord Krishna's pastimes. Uddhava's pastimes are celebrated all over the three worlds. Uddhava 
So Uddhava stayed in Vrindavan for some time and then he decided to go back to Krishna, to go back to Mathura. So he got permission from Nanda Maharaj and Mother Yashoda. And, and then he had a last meeting with the gopis and he took permission from them also and he got in his chariot and went started to go for Mathura. And when Uddhava was about to leave, all the people of Vrindavan, headed by Nanda and Yashoda, they came and they brought presents for him to take to Mathura. And they had tears in their eyes and due to their feelings of attachment for Krishna, they were crying and they desired a blessing from Uddhava. They desired to always remember Krishna's pastimes. Yeah, and they wanted their mind will always be fixed on the lotus feet of Krishna and their words will always glorify Krishna. And their bodies will always be used to bow down to Krishna, so to constantly remember him. So this is the highest realization to use everything, all the body, mind and senses in the service of Krishna. So especially in the human life, we should engage our life, everything we have, our money, our words, our intelligence for the service of Krishna. Only these kind of activities can save us from material life. So the people of Vrindavan told Uddhava that by the will of the Supreme Authority and according to the results of our own work, we may take birth anywhere. It doesn't matter where we're born, but our only prayer is that we may simply remember Krishna and be in Krishna consciousness. So pure devotees never want to go to heaven and they don't even desire to go to Vaikuntha or Goloka Vrindavan. Devotee has no desire for his own pleasures. So a devotee sees heaven and hell equal. If there's, if there's no Krishna, 
then heaven is hell. And if Krishna is there, hell is heaven. So when Uddhava had been properly worshipped and honoured by all the devotees of Vrindavan, then he left and went to Mathura. So he immediately came to see Lord Krishna and Balaram and he told them all about the wonderful devotion of all the people of Vrindavan. And then he presented to Krishna's father Vasudev and Vasudev's father Ugrasena, Krishna's grandfather. He gave him all the presents which Nanda Maharaj and Mother Yashoda had given him. So that's the end of this Krishna, uh, uh, the message of Krishna being delivered to the gopis. Okay. So it's a very, we spent three weeks on that chapter, it's a long chapter, very important. We're hearing about Radharani and her love for Krishna, and the gopis, how much they love Krishna. And we're hearing how wonderful Vrindavan is. And how it reminds everybody of Krishna. When you go there to Vrindavan, then you're reminded of Krishna. All right, so we will stop now if there's any questions. Okay, when you're out there, you can come and get me, can you have any time? Yes, good morning. First, from Kai Brozi, Bob Teleha. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, Dandavat Panam, please accept my humble obeisance. Hare Krishna Mata. Ku for me, call song sign in your kiva, Savo, Pukai Chit, Kapapin Chao Yang, Jaya Vijaya, T, and Yam Papa Tu, Yunai Wai Kunta, Hamai Poka Tu, Tung Yang Tong, Tong Kam Sakong, Sanaka T, Lucy, Long Long Bay. Uh, his question is, he don't understand that why the ultimate associate like uh, JVJ, the, they are the, yeah, like that. They, after they get the curse of uh, Sanat, Sanat Kumar, they have to come to this material world. So what, he doesn't understand why they had to come to the material world? Yes. Well, there's a reason. One reason was that Krishna, he wanted to fight. So he wanted to have a good fight. So when he fights, you cannot just fight anybody. They're not good enough. They don't give him a good enough fight. So he arranged that these two gatekeepers, Jai and Vijay, that they're very, they were very strong. So he let them come as demons and that they would take birth and they will be able to give him very good fight. So 
ทําการต่อสู้กับคนในระดับเดียวกันโปรเกชันเนี่ยมีพลังอำนาจมหาศาลแล้วก็ถ้าเกิดไปต่อสู้กับคนที่ไม่มีความสามารถเท่ากับตนเองเนี่ยมันก็จะเป็นการต่อสู้ที่ไม่สนุกเพราะฉะนั้นท่านนะอยากจะมีการต่อสู้แบบแบบว่าแบบกับคนในระดับเดียวกันที่มีพลังอำนาจมากมาก Yeah. Krishna arranged that they would come, take birth as demons three times, and each time they will be able to fight with Krishna. Krishna will come in different avatars and fight with them. So that was one reason why they came. There were other reasons. One reason was that they had offended the goddess of fortune. The goddess of fortune, you know, she's the wife of Lord Narayan. So she wanted to go to see her husband, but one day Lord Narayan was taking rest in Jai Vijay. They would not let the goddess of fortune go in to disturb her husband. So Lakshmi was angry at them. She cursed them. สรีนิเจย์วิเจย์เนี่ยก็ไม่อนุญาตให้นางเนี่ยเข้าไปแล้วนางก็เลยรู้สึกไม่พอใจก็เลยโกรธแล้วก็เหมือนกับสาปแช่งพวกเขา And then the four Kumaras, the sons of Brahma, they were coming to the spiritual world. They wanted to see the supreme Lord. And Jai and Vijay stopped them. They said, "You little boys, you little children, you cannot be qualified to come in here." So the four Kumaras, they were not pleased with them, and they cursed them. แล้วอีกสายหนึ่งก็คือโดนสิสิกมาเนี่ยสาปแช่งตอนแรกสิกมาเนี่ยจะเข้าไปเข้าเฝ้าพระนารายแต่ว่าเจวิเจจะบอก
forget about him and you're busy in sense gratification, then there's always hope that after some time you'll think about uh, self-realization and you become and you can awaken devotion. But if you're an impersonalist and you deny Krishna and, and say he's only energy and deny the personality, that's offensive and that's not pleasing to Krishna at all and then you'll never awaken devotion. เขาพวกนั้นน่ะถือว่าเป็นบุคคลที่ไม่มีความรู้ที่เอ่อสําหรับพวกนั้นคือเขาเมื่อเขาได้รับความรู้เขาก็จะตื่นขึ้นมาจ
วลาหลังจากคนก้าวออกจากบินดาวันแล้วเขาเป็นถนนซึ่งนั้นเพื่อที่คนที่จะเข้าหรือจะออกที่นั่นเนี่ยได้ผะได้เหยียบตัวเองWe should desire to get rid of our sins. We should desire to become pure devotees. We should we should desire to be always engaged in Krishna's service. In whatever position Krishna puts us in, we accept. We just pray that wherever we are, we will never forget Krishna. Always, we always want to be in Krishna consciousness wherever we are. It, it doesn't matter where we are or who we are. What's important is our consciousness. The, in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, whatever we remember at the time of death, so we'll go there. So we want to always be conscious of Krishna. It doesn't matter where we are or who we are, what body we're in, not important. What's important is that we remember Krishna. ดังสิ่งสิ่งที่สําคัญหรือว่าหัวใจหลักเนี่ยก็คือเอ่อว่าเราเนี่ยระลึกถึงคริชนามากน้อยแค่ไหนหรือไม่ว่าเราจะตก
the people who raise the animal and who kill the animal and sell the animal, they sell the meat. And then the people who cook the meat and the people who serve the meat, they all get karma. Not only the people who eat the meat, everybody, you're giving it, you giving the meat to the animals, to the dog or the cat, then you get karma. You should train the animals and make the animals vegetarian. Give them vegetarian food. Just like here in Mayapur, we have there are dogs. They're not our dogs, they're just wild dogs and they come here. And so they get prasadam. We give them the leftover prasadam. And they live on that. They get prasadam every day. They come every day eat prasadam. Nobody gives them meat. So when they when they get hungry enough, they'll eat prasadam. So, and if you give them prasadam, they benefit, they get a very good opportunity in their future life. But you give them meat. It's not good for them. Okay. Hare Krishna. Okay, no more questions? No more good. Okay, so we'll stop here tonight. So on, yes, fr yes. on Friday night we have Ishopanishad. If you like to join us at the same time as this class on Friday night, we're going through the Sri Ishopanishad. Please join us. Okay, thank you very much, Arjuna, for translation, and thank all the devotees for participation. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Yeah. Thank you, Guru. Go back to Vrinda Ki Jai. Yeah.